Tony Candela here with CE Auto Electric Supply and today we're going to talk about the Aeromotive Fuel Pump Speed Controller or FPSC. Now I showed you this product in a prior video and had some difficulties with the vehicle between then and now. Lost a camshaft, uh, broke some parts, put it back together, broke some more parts, and uh, but she's back together and running now and it's time for part two. That's how it goes with hot rods guys, most of you guys know this. Um, nonetheless, uh, today we're going to talk a little bit about a few new technologies um, in, in being able to utilize a very large or a high volume fuel pump in a street driven vehicle and be able to do so reliably. Um, the, the FPSC makes this possible and how it does it is it manages the speed of the fuel pump using a process called pulse width modulation. I'll show you that here in a minute. Um, and what it, what it utilizes this PWM for is the PWM is used to be able to ramp up the pump speed as the vehicle fuel requirements increase and it does that by tracking the engine RPM and it's a pretty clever device so I've actually installed one of these in my 72 Olds Cutlass it's got a blown big block Chevy it's got a Magnafuel EFI high volume fuel pump and it works really well I've got over eh, a month and a half, something like that, of runtime on it, and I've been really happy. Um, for anyone out there that's got a big fuel pump, you know the number one complaint is that these things make a lot of noise. And the FPSC all but eliminates the pump noise from a high volume fuel pump. Um, at idle at a stop sign, I don't even hear the fuel pump anymore, which is a big improvement. Um, one of the other benefits of managing your pump speed with a high volume fuel pump, especially if you got a return style fuel system, is you're, you're causing the fuel to be heated when you pump it to the front of the car and then return to the back of the car and empty it back into the cell and do this over and over and over again. You're actually heating the fuel in the process and that can lead to all kinds of unwanted problems. Um, one of the things I like about the FPSC is, like I showed you in the prior video, it includes everything in the box you need to install it correctly the first time. Um, the instructions provided with this kit were very good, and I'm pleased to say Aeromotive Sex Support's been very good. So um, those are a couple of things you won't have to worry about. Um, now when I talk to different manufacturers of electric fuel pumps, the number one thing I'm told about failures is those failures are caused by inadequate electrical. Um, either uh, we've got too small of a power cable going to the fuel pump, an adequate return path, the power cable is too small and it's too long, um, etc. Voltage drop um, is a huge issue for fuel pumps and they can certainly cause uh, premature failure of these very high volume fuel pumps. So when you're putting a high volume fuel pump in, I would recommend you pay very close attention to the manufacturer's directions. So what we're going to do is we're going to give you a quick explanation of what PWM is and then we're going to show you the product working in action. So let's do it. Now shown here is a graphical representation of what DC voltage looks like on an oscilloscope and what pulse width modulation looks like on an oscilloscope. And you'll actually see both of these in the in-car demonstration. So let's start with the top one, which is 12 volt DC. Obviously that figure is going to be higher in a running vehicle, probably up to 14.4 volts DC, but we'll use 12 for this example. So we look at our reference to ground, which in this case is represented by the zero line. And if we were to um, monitor our voltage, it's just going to be a flat line at a positive point, And that's not going to change over time. Um, you'll see that when we first start the vehicle and uh, the, uh, the FPSC turns the fuel pump on um, and then it will go into this version which is pulse width modulation um, as we start the car. Um, now what PWM looks like is we've got our same uh, ground threshold and we've got our same 12 volt threshold and what you've got is you've got an on cycle that we go from ground to 12 volts and we're on for some duration of time and then we've got an off cycle that goes back to ground and then we off for some length of time and then this repeats over time and uh, a single on and off cycle is referred to as a period um, and what duty cycle is and you'll hear this terminology used with uh, like fuel injectors and in this case this uh, FPSC duty cycle is the percentage of on time in a single period so the more duty cycle we have 
the more on time we have in that period and the less off time. Now, the FPSC manages duty cycle based um, around engine RPM. So in this particular example, what I'm going to show you is I've set the high threshold on the FPSC at 2500 RPM. Um, we've got a blown big block here. It's noisy, so I'm trying to minimize the noise in the video, etc. And trying to be able to show you guys, uh, you know, as efficiently as I can. So what's going to happen is as we increase RPM from idle, you're going to notice that our waveform is going to get wider and wider and wider as its duty cycle increases. And when it reaches 2500 RPM and exceeds that, it's going to have a 100% duty cycle. And that's going to look just like that. So let's show you. So if you paid close attention to the waveform you saw on the scope, you'll notice it doesn't look so much like traditional pulse width modulation. Um, it looks more like this. And what this is is called tri-state pulse width modulation. And it's named because there are three states. You've got off, you've got on, and then there's some state in between on and off, um, a different voltage threshold. So that's really what's going on with the FPSC. Um, the principle is really the same. Um, I'm sure one of the reasons that Aeromotive chose to do this was to minimize uh, fluctuations in fuel pressure. So that's kind of how that works. Okay, now one of the really cool things about the FPSC is that you can wire a manual bypass to the controller in such a way that you can flip a switch and you can actually cause the FPSC to operate in a wide open status, basically eliminating the PWM. And you might want to do that, say, if you're going to take part on the strip and you want to make sure you've got uh, your fuel system delivery is not an issue, uh, you can always uh, do that with the FPSC. Let me show you how that works. So there you have it, there's the uh, Aeromotive FPSC, um, kind of a simple product, um, comparative to say this is what we removed, which is a pair of 40 amp you know, high current relays, um, certainly uh, great, robust, um, this has worked well, but once you go to an FPSC, you'd be hard pressed to ever go back to a pair of relays. So Tony with CE Auto Electric Supply. We'll talk to you soon. Make sure to visit us at our website, www.ceautoelectricsupply.com, for all your automotive electrical needs.